The cabinet was also briefed about the city of Cape Town's imposing of taxi operating conditions, which are at variance with both the National Road Traffic Act and also the National Land Transport Act, which regulate the traffic offenses and applicable penalties, including the impounding of vehicles. And cabinet has directed the Minister of Transport, Minister Cindy Chikunga, to ensure that any taxi operating conditions that contradicts the laws of the Republic are removed. On the fight against illegal mining, Cabinet welcomed the deployment of a special police unit, which is supported by the military in Rivali, Johannesburg, to deal with illegal mining in the area. In addition, Cabinet commended the arrest of over 194 suspects over illegal mining activities and directed law enforcement agencies to urgently clamp down on this and other serious crimes in the country. The Department of Mineral Resources and Energy, DMRE, has committed to close all derelict open mine shafts and, and mine holes in River Lee by the end of September 2023, whilst finalizing plans to close other derelict open shafts and mining holes across the country. On the Russia-Africa Summit, President Cyril Ramaphosa was amongst other African leaders who attended the second Russia-Africa Summit in St. Petersburg in the Russian Federation. The summit adopted the Russia-Africa Partnership Forum Action Plan, which focuses on strengthening cooperation in areas of politics and security, economics, humanitarian matters, and interests of mutual benefit and prosperity. On the sidelines of the summit, African heads of state and government who are part of the Africa Peace Initiative on the conflict between Russia and Ukraine held follow-up talks with President Putin on the previously discussed confidence-building measures that will create conditions for a negotiated settlement to end the war. President, President Ramaphosa and President Putin also held a bilateral meeting and discussed opportunities to increase trade between the two countries, that is South Africa and the Russian Federation, and opportunities for the Russian Federation to increase investments in South Africa. On the BRICS summit pre uh, readiness, Cabinet was appraised that it is all systems go in terms of South Africa's readiness to host the 15th BRICS summit in Johannesburg from the 22nd to the 24th of August 2023. The, late, the last of the BRICS ministerial meetings, which is the BRICS Ministers of Agriculture meeting, is currently underway, while the ministerial meetings of Foreign Affairs, Security, Trade, Industry, Education, Science, Labor, Communications, Health, and Urbanization Forum have concluded their reports for the Leader Summit. The BRICS outreach program for various sectors and communities have also been concluded. These engagements provided governments, governments, organizations, experts, and academics from the BRICS nations an opportunity to discuss issues of mutual interest that will enable informed decision-making during the BRICS summit.